Hi everyone, this is All Outdoor One here. Um, today I'm having a quick look at this uh, Vargo XE stove. Uh, this is a dual fuel stove. It can use either denatured alcohol or solid fuel or gel fuel. And it's uh, very small, compact, made of 100% uh, titanium. So very light and very strong. So as I said, this particular Vargo stove comes in two parts. In the middle we have the um, denatured alcohol burner. Um, anyone that's familiar with Trangia or alcohol stoves in general will be familiar with this. Familiar with the principle. And this is your um, solid fuel burning unit. Um, essentially this has legs also on the bottom. They just fold out like so. Which I think is it's a neat design and it's stable. Uh, the bottom ones are supposed to be pressed into the ground to avoid uh, the unit tipping over to give it more stability basically. You literally rest your cup on top here. Um, yeah, you can use um, Esbit, Trioxane, Hexamine, anything along those lines. It works perfectly well. Um, I try to use my um, alcohol stove more more regularly. Use alcohol basically to cook. Uh, it's just more environmentally friendly, and it's uh, less toxic as well. Um, yeah, I'll just give a quick demonstration of this now. Uh, just fill this up and um, see how long it takes to boil 250 milliliters of water. As you can see outside, it's snowing. Uh, so it's below zero at the moment. Obviously, we don't have wind inside inside this building here, inside the shed. Um, but it's a low temperature, basically. We'll see how well it performs. By the way, um, Vargo also make um, it's quite a good fuel bottle. The plastics, you know, tougher than some I've come across, and it's got um, a squeezy spout. By the way, which just makes pouring easier, and. Uh, it's got measurements on the side. I usually find that you need about an ounce um, of fuel to boil half a litre or a pint of water. Alright, so I'm just going to fill this up with... Sorry, this is the uh, alcohol unit. I've just taken the lid off. It literally just pops on top. Um, as I said, I'm just going to put an ounce of fuel in here. Since I'm only um, boiling 250 mils, um, I'm just going to try it with half an ounce first of all, see if it works with that. That should just about do it, I think. So you literally put the lid on top, press it down, and then you just literally place it here. As with alcohol stoves, most alcohol stoves you need to prime them. That is one of the benefits of the Trangia. It doesn't need priming as much because it has the, the well in the middle. So it's just uh, a lot easier to uh, light in my opinion. But obviously it's heavier. Alright, so here we go. This, by the way, is the uh, inset to my um, Imco lighter. Which just makes a nice lighting tool. Um, yeah, there's a separate review on my channel of this if anyone's interested. Alright, so this seems to have lit. And, uh, nope, it's gone out. I'll have to reprime it just a sec. Alright, so I've managed to get it lit now. Um, I have to say, it's a little bit trickier to light than the uh, Trangia type stoves, as I said, uh, which have the well in the middle. So you can just light the alcohol directly. This uh, requires a bit of priming. I used about an eighth of an ounce of uh, alcohol fuel to prime it as well as putting the half an ounce of alcohol inside. And uh, yeah, I think that's ready to go right now. So I'll just stick the water on top. And we'll do a little ball time test. That's nice. That's quite 
pretty stable um, especially if you pegged it into the ground that would be pretty good I reckon seems to be working just fine just get the uh, stopwatch started and we're off I'll just come back to that when it comes to a boil so far so good right so we're back it's 6 minutes 45 now um, the flame seems to be still going quite strong we're just about coming to the boil now in fact I'd say that is a roiling boil just have to um, demist the camera yeah so in my experience six and a half minutes that's pretty good um, probably the Trangia is a better stove overall I'd say because it's easier to light however this does have its advantages namely um, you know it's a self-contained unit you know you can just cook literally on this take it with you um, shield it from the wind obviously that always helps with any alcohol stove um, it's very lightweight, it's lighter than the Trangia as a, as a weight saving for that reason alone it's probably not worth it because you know you'll only save a few grams really um, this is probably, it's obviously it's more versatile as you can use uh, solid fuel with it as well um, let's check the wind resistance and as you can see it went straight out um, so in my experience the Trangia stoves stay lit you know, there's still alcohol in there, obviously. Um, yeah, the Trangia stoves seem to stay lit better. But uh, I use this in conjunction with my BCB Crusader cooking kit. I just sit it in the middle. Uh, someone suggested, you know, doing that on YouTube. And uh, I found that it works quite well because it gives it a bit of wind protection as well. Um, yeah, but overall, it seems to be a good unit. It's sturdy like it's solid um, shouldn't break that easily so as you can see there I just boiled half a pint of water uh, that's 250 mils roughly um, in 6 minutes 45 um, yeah so that's the um, Vargo dual fuel stove and uh, I think it's a pretty good piece of kit so this is All Outdoor 1 signing out take care